hey all you people, what's going on? I am sunburnt and my car is full of absolute garbage from Chick-fil-A wrappers to Bose sound systems. I had to get up at 3.30 to do a photo shoot with Columbia, which is pretty sweet. They hooked me up with some awesome gear. Anyhow, I feel like I haven't been putting out enough personal videos about the GTI. So I figured I'd give you a quick update. I started doing a couple mods on it. The first one was new rubber. This is a closed course with a professional driver. Don't try this at home. Ooh. I got some Mishies, some tried and true Pilot Sport all seasons. And before you all say, why don't you just get summer tires and then switch to winter tires in the winter? But that's just a lot more money and right now I need something that can do both. So let's see. All right, I've been driving around with the new tires for a couple days now. And the first thing I noticed when I put them on was a slightly different sound. The ride of the car is ever so slightly stiffer, but I guess that's to be expected. You might be wondering why it's a different angle because I have the Insta 361X. Oh, oh, that. So there are a couple variables right now besides the tires, one of them being the temperature. When we last recorded this with the old tires, it was 37 degrees, right? Well, right now it's 82 and humid. But, 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 but during the last one, we were also at higher elevation. So I think it's gonna be pretty equal if I were to guess. Okay, first run, I'm gonna go with traction control on. Okay, that was a, a slowish start, but there was no wheel spin, which is awesome. This, that was the goal. For, I have to say, these tires have fantastic grip for being all seasons. I wasn't expecting them to be this good, but they're fantastic. This road's a little busier than the other one I was on, so I'm not too comfortable doing a zero to 100 time, but at least we have the 60 time. So, got a little break in the traffic here. I know it wasn't a boosted launch, but still, no wheel spin. That was awesome. And trust me, it's really hard to get these tires to break when cornering, too. It sharpened up the handling a little bit, but the cornering grip is so good now. I was dying to see if these better tires would actually make a difference or not on the car, and they certainly did, at least from a handling perspective and grip perspective. We'll see how they hold up in the future to tread wear, in the snow, and reliability. Anyhow, the next Go Fast mod that I did is from Unitronic, it's a downpipe with a high flow cat. And in my head, that was kind of the first step um, to going stage two with my GTI. Check it out here. Unitronic. Oh, oh yeah, Mr. Muscles. I might need some penetrating oil. Hey, thanks for bringing that penetrating oil. <laughs> hey, what on earth is this? This is for you. <laughs> that flower is now penetrated. Look at how just restrictive this thing is. Old and with the new. Downpipe is completely attached to the turbo outlet. You know, for shits and giggles, let's see how this sounds. Comment below if you should, <laughs> comment below if you think I should keep it like that without the uh, mid pipe. The down pipe is installed. Shabam, let's see how she sounds. Go for it, girl. Unitronic is a great company. If you just look at the quality of their products, look at the small details like the welds around every crease, you can tell that they really care and they know what they're doing. Now it's time for the not so good 
news. I need all of your opinions because Volkswagens, they make noises. Cars, they make noises. It sounds like I have slight rod knock in my car. Take a listen here. I've been trying to find videos on YouTube about it. I found a couple that were pretty close, but they actually never found out what was wrong with their car. The sound really started with a bit of roughness on my engine. This was when I got the stock intake manifold changed because of an intake manifold runner fault uh, under warranty. They also did spark plugs, um, coil packs. I'm at 108,000 miles now. I've driven it. 37,000 miles in the past year. It, when it would just, when it would kind of settle down at that lower RPM range, it sounded rough. I, I can't afford to get anything sort of rebuilt in my engine, but the timing tensioner didn't, didn't really affect the 2014 model GTI, so I don't think it's that. But if it's some sort of rod knock or internal noise, that's gonna cost me a couple grand to fix. I don't, I don't know. What's gonna happen? I. <sighs> your guess is as good as mine. Thank you so much for your input. I'm gonna try to respond to the comments if there are any comments. And as always, stay golden, pony girls and boys. Hey, Tyler Hoover, can you please buy my car for me?